Hello everyone, this is Icy Me to bring you more of Mega Man Star Force. Yes, more of this little terrible game that is called Mega Man Star Force. Well, it isn't really as terrible it seems. But moving on, what I was trying to say. Last episode, pretty much clearing out some sea wave little little black floating balls thing. And now we restore power back to the Amak uh, the Amakan area. So now we're gonna go back and continue on with the main story now we're gonna have a little cuts in here it's an episode episode even though it may be long a little bit longer I'm not gonna be talking too much because everything is cut everything here we're gonna have is just cutscenes and hello it's just gonna she's just gonna tell us to, to meet her on the roof so let's see what she got at mine hmm And this is where it comes to the most, uh, the most uh, touching uh, part of this game. Are okay, you gonna see what I mean, mind then? I'm just gonna keep quiet.
didn't say a thing to her in the end. If we had been brothers, would I, would I have been able to protect her? No, I can't. I can't do it. It can't be another person's strength. When she was telling me about her mother, I understood what she was talking about. Because all of the things she was saying were things that I could say about my own life. But I couldn't tell her she was saying things <clears throat> I couldn't say be myself because I'm so weak. Uh, so we're getting smacked. Uh, I swear, I, was, I swear, people here just get smacked every time, man. It's, the first was Bob Copper who got smacked by the baseball, and now it's him. And later on, uh, later, uh, later on the <laughs> in this episode, we're gonna see Bob Copper getting smacked again. <laughs> oh my goodness! But on a serious note, <clears throat> this is why they consider the whole thing coupled with Subaru and Mizora here because. They're both related to what they, they uh, on their uh, character, is that they both lost a parent in their life. Now, I don't know about Misora's father, however, because they don't mention anything about that, it's just her and her mother. But now, I might as well just head home like it was saying. I will just do that. Oh, oh look at that, we have another lovely cutscene here. Like, wait, please. And it's Bud and Sack. These two guys. These guys. <laughs> it's like, Subra, you were you were at Bista Point this morning, weren't you? <clears throat> Who was that person with you? Weren't you with Sonia Strom? Well, he, he was, but, you know, he's not going to mention anything like that. He's not going to say anything like that. Kind of. It was kind of his fault for that, but I don't think that's that's not the point here. This is a disaster. I don't know anything. Hmm. Well, it's not like you know Sonia. Yeah, he mo he knows Sonia more than you know, but of course you wouldn't know. Yeah, that's true. Besides, the real Sonia wouldn't hang out here. Man, when it rains, it pours. They cancel the concert, and we're gonna go. We're so going to get punished by the press <laughs> for ditching yesterday. It's like, hmm, but that girl really looked a lot like Sonia. I hope I didn't make any trouble when I told. <clears throat> I told Sonia's manager that I saw her get on the bus, so it was his fault. It was his fault for 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 Super getting in trouble over there by getting him back in. She's a big star. Maybe she thought Echo Ridge was <clears throat> was too small for a superstar like her. You're wrong. You don't know anything. So stop talking like you do. Oh, and what do you know about her? You know, he knows a lot of things, but he's not going to mention it. You haven't even heard of her until yesterday. Well, I I guess there are fans like you. People who think they know all and pretend they do. Oh, look at that. This is this is a funny, funny <clears throat> conundrum, I guess you can say. Because, you know, they are the ones who actually don't know. Well, it's probably irony. Um, that's the word I'm trying to try to try to say here. Conundrum of irony. I don't know. You become fans of her, when Then don't be shy about it and say it. I'm not a fan. That's the thing. That's her friend. Then don't go around saying stuff about her. Jeez. Meanwhile, back at the market. You really done it now. <laughs> You're going to pay back all of these damages. Jeez, such a he's very, very selfish. Oh my goodness. No, I don't want to sing. No, I don't want to sing for money. Of course, my songs are only for making Mama happy.
me so it's a product. I raised you so I could get cash from your singing. Jeez. If you don't sing, I can't eat. It's like, no, go away. Run away. Run away, Mizora. Run away. Go away. There you go. Well, fortunately, because of all this situation, there's someone who gets attracted to it, too. It's like, no, help me, Mama. I don't want to sing anymore. Yes, indeed he is. And here we go, another Fabian. Which is not as much of a surprise. It's like, I'm Lyra and I'm the lover of music. You know, as bad as this is, she's making a good point, but at the same time, it's it's, it's very selfish as well. <clears throat> and a, a, it, it's just a bit selfish, which they then goes out of proportion, because you know, you know what happened to uh, the last two encounter with the Fabians. Power music compels you. That's what I was saying. It's like, no. And thus, she transformed and she's turned into harp note. <clears throat> I would just like to point that out. And that's the fourth time, I believe. I should have like a like a counter there of how many people get knocked out. <laughs> and that's we have another new threat now. It actually is going to be his. It's going to be his friend. His very first true friend. There we go. That'll be the word. <clears throat> uh oh. Someone's coming. Oh god dang it. That's great. We have another we have the other problem as well. But you know that means also, right? Uh, Harpno is gonna come to town as well. 
plays a concert to the people, but it's going to be the concert of death. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not going to say death either. <laughs> I don't think that will be the word. Yes, they are really skyrocketing right now. It's coming from over there. Ouch. Of course, we cannot see it. Because, you know, no visualizer. Subaru is not even bothering. And, and, um, what in the Subaru, put on your visualizer. Yes, put on it on. We surprisingly enough, she didn't knock him out. That means she still has some consciousness about herself. Or like uh, when Bot was taken over by Taurus Fire and to uh, Top Dubious. Oh my, I look like that boy can see us. Yes. It's like Sonia? Yes, that's you. She's been taken over. Yes, Omega says. I figured this would happen. And by the looks of things, I'll say it's Lyra. Uh, it's like I'm not good deal with women. Oh, this is good. This is like one of the most hilarious also uh, chapters of this game as well. It's like, hey, hey, hey. Please don't get it now. We're cutie pie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be great. Click dodge. Jeez, that was some dodge there. Yep. It controls the power of music. But anyways, as you can see, she's going to go out of town and knock everyone. Is <laughs> going to knock everyone out. But we're going to do this chase on the next episodes, guys. Yes, you don't have no choice, the uh, Cerberus. Uh, so why as well just chase after her. But anyways, <clears throat> like I was saying, this will be it, guys. So I'll meet you guys on the next episode. This is Icy Miso saying, see you guys later.